We are here to talk about ordering a set of numbers and uh, before we look at one or two example questions we just or just now I'm very quickly going to to uh, look with you at some symbols okay because there are a few very important symbols and this symbol I'm sure you're already familiar with it but what does it mean it means is equal to is equal to so for instance um, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 all right and then we have a symbol which looks like this and that means is not is not equal to yeah so we could say for instance 3 plus 2 is not equal to 11 yeah I think so far everything is good now this sign means is greater than okay or is greater uh, to and now you have to be a little bit careful yeah? so you can use it for instance uh, like this uh, that 7 is greater than 3 and the way you can remember that because my experience is is that students sometimes are not sure how to use this sign is that it looks like a crocodile if you like and you see you can put the eyes here yeah it's like a crocodile and the crocodile always eats the larger number because it's a very greedy animal yeah so seven is bigger than is greater than is larger than three okay um, we can also have this sign which means is greater than or equal to okay is greater than is greater than or equal to okay so what could I, how could I use that well for instance x is greater or equal to 27 that means that the value of that number is either 27 or more yeah but 27 is also still um, allowed okay we can turn this sign around and um, this then means is less than okay is less than so for instance minus 4 is less than 1 do we agree with that yeah and again the crocodile eats the larger number yeah? 1 is bigger than minus 4 so the crocodile always eats the larger number minus 4 is less than 1 or if you look from the other way you could say well 1 is larger than minus 4 and the last symbol is less than or equal to equal to it's barely readable yeah but uh, you could say again well x is less than or equal to um, 15 okay so for instance the amount of students x uh, who will participate in the field trip is less or equal to 15 so the maximum amount of students will be 15 but perhaps some of them are sick so we'll have less than 15 yeah so x the amount of students for instance is less or equal to 15 okay now let's have a few uh, look at a few typical questions which involves ordering numbers and guaranteed you're going to get questions like that on your exam okay so very useful to take a moment to look at them i'll see you at the example questions 